In this video, we're going to create a program in Java that calculates your income tax. So, we need to understand a little bit about how um, income tax works before we get going. So, income tax is based upon that gross income. We use this ter term, gross income, to specify how much you made that year. We're going to assume in, our ex in just an example here, $100,000 was made. The next thing you need to know are deductions. And deductions are really money that gets taken off of that gross income before taxes are applied. In our example, we're going to have two deductions. We're going to have one be just a flat rate 100,000, sorry, 10,000 that'll be taken away from the 100,000 gross income. And just that's everyone gets that just sort of a freebie. And then we're also going to have deductions for how many dependents are in your household. And let's assume in this case there will be two dependents. And for each dependent, you will get a $2,000 deduction. In this case, that would total $4,000 for your dependents. Subtract these, and you will end up with an answer of 86,000. Now that's the start, and you have this uh, this number 86,000. We call that the taxable income. And we're going to actually now just apply the tax rate, which is going to be 20%. And 20% times 86,000, 17,200 17, dollars. That is how much you'd end up paying in this example to the government out of the 100,000 you initially made. Okay, now we're ready to actually start coding here. We're going to use the keyboard reader class again, and that's because the user needs to type something in. They need to give us some data. In fact, the two pieces of data we need from there, from the user, one is a double, and that is going to be the um, gross income. I'm just going to call it income. The other piece of information we need is dependence. So I'm going to call it it's going to be an int, and we're going to call it um, dependence. Now that we have both of those variables set up, um, we're ready to start using this reader to read in what they want. So I'm going to type in income equals, and then I'm going to use that reader variable. Okay, And the reader is of type keyboard reader, so it's going to know this message that I'm going to send it. Reader dot, and I'm going to say read double. Okay. That will give us a value from the command line. Then I'm going to do the same thing for int, except it's not going to be read double. It's going to be so dependence equals reader dot read int. All right. Before we go any further, let's compile. Looks like it worked, and let's run the program. So the first thing it's asking me for is the income. So I'm going to say 100 thousand and then the next thing it's going to ask for is going to be the dependence and I'm going to say two for now okay and that was the end of the program because the program didn't actually do anything else let's um, let's add something into the program here to print out the results system dot out dot print line and let's say income equals use my concatenation operator and put in income. So whatever the income variable is, it will get printed out. And we'll see that in just a second. I'm going to copy and paste that whole thing. And I'm going to have this one say income. Instead of income, it's going to say dependence equals and dependence. Okay, compile and run this again. So 100,000 and 2. So it'll tell me. Income equals 100,000. Dependence equals 2. It looks like everything's working. So this was just to help me out uh, momentarily to print things out so I could see if it was working. And it is. So I'm going to comment these out. Maybe I'll use them again later, but for now I don't need them. Um, remember our goal is really to be finding that taxable income. So I'm going to make a double and call it just that, taxable income. All right. And 
we need to find what that actually is. And we can use our variables that we've already created, income and dependence, to find it. We said before that the taxable income is really just the, the, in, the income minus the deductions. So income minus, and what were our deductions? Well, our one deduction was a flat rate. It was 10,000. And we can't put the comma in there when we're writing the number, so it's just 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 10,000. And the other deduction was um, it depended on how many dependents you had, and it was 2,000 for each dependent, so 2,000 times dependents. Okay, now let's use let's use uh, one of these system.out.println statements, and I'm going to just copy and paste one below here to see if it worked. So it's going to say taxable, and you know what, I can start copying and pasting these too. Taxable income there, and let's have it say taxable income here. Okay, so when this runs, I can type in my income and my number of dependents, and it tells me the taxable income is 86,000, which is correct. That's what we got earlier, and that's what we got now. It's, it's working perfectly. Um, now what we need to do is we need to actually um, figure out, you know, well, what's the amount of tax you have to pay. So I'm going to um, make another double and call it tax paid, like this, tax paid, and I'm going to do the calculation. So tax paid equals, and it's taxable income times whatever that um, percentage was. And in, in our case, it was 20%, which is the same thing as 0 0.2. All right. We want to see if this works, so I'm going to have another um, print line, and I'm going to change it to say tax paid equals tax paid. Okay, notice that I chose my variable names to actually make sense here. And you can kind of figure out what the variables do just by looking at their names. So I know that tax paid is a variable that holds the value for how much tax you actually paid. I know that taxable income is a variable that holds the value for how much taxable income you have. All right, enough said about that. Let's run our program. 100,000 and 2. Okay, so it tells us our taxable income was 86 and then it tells us how much we actually had to pay from that, which was 17200 Just as expected, but let's try it with other values. So I'm going to try 50000 And then I'm going to try, let's say I had 10 kids. So doing, doing the math in my head, 10 kids at $2,000 a piece, well, that's going to be a $20,000 deduction. That's pretty big. All right. Taxable income was only $20,000. Remember, we had the $10,000 de deduction plus another $20,000 deduction from the, from the 10 kids. And now you only had to pay um, $4,000 in taxes in this case. So we can see that our program seems to be working. And let's just actually look back through the code and see if we could improve anything. Well, the first thing I notice is that it's not very nice for the user. Um, when we take in input from the user, those are the two lines for it. And we can see that really it just popped up these boxes. You know, how did they know what they were supposed to type in? So let's give them a little help by adding a system.out.println statement for them. So system.out.println, please enter your gross income. And then let's do another one. I'm going to copy and paste that. And this one will say, please enter your number of dependents. Number of dependents. Good. And if I run it again, it's just a little nicer because it'll, it'll tell me. Please enter your gross income. Well, OK, I, I know what that is. So let's uh, actually enter that 80,000 this time just to test it. And then please enter your number of dependents. In this case, let's say I've got five kids. 
and we can see that the taxable income was much less than the actual income. It was only 60000 and the tax paid in this case was $12,000.